guys, it is our first ever FIFA 23 video. The reason why it says that he keep he's playing for Liverpool is just because it shows you your career mode sound is cool. And before I start this video properly, shout out to Jacob the Sponge. Yes, that was suggested by Archie um Wag stuff. The one well he told me to say it before to be funny to say to his friend, so of course I couldn't miss out on a joke opportunity. So this is our first play play in career mode. We are going to be doing a Liverpool one, as of course we are bringing back Jack Mugador. So we are going to create our manager right now. He looks like an old man. So they removed the you know default manager thing, which I guess makes sense because obviously sometimes you want to variation. Just I don't use variation because I'm boring. So we're first going to make our manager. So he's not going to look like an old man now. Last time I checked out and wasn't that. So, yeah, the customization is still good. Of course, the player career is where most people are at because obviously they've revamped that once more right? and it's better than ever where you can buy stuff. That'll be my I think next video unless I do a rebuild. Because obviously, you know, I do rebuilds as well. Sorry, it's such a long opening. I just thought I might as well show myself creating me manager. Anyway, I am excited to make some videos for you on this FIFA because obviously it's the last one and I'm excited for it. I can even have the Darwin Nunes haircut. <laughs> By the way, I know this sounds a bit weird, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing Jota in this Kadima just because they have Nunes and the fact that Nunes was originally, I mean, Jota was the start of the last career mode. It's a bit confusing. We have our new manager, well, the manager, me. Of course, we have made ourselves a fourth time wooden show, actually. Every fit so was too long, so of course, we're doing Liverpool. I'll probably do another one, like maybe I'll do Birmingham, well, not Birmingham, but maybe Watford. I could do one on, you know, some other teams, but usually do Liverpool first. That was the only team I've done first, so. We're going to keep international jobs in option. We're going to keep the European competitions on, of course. I don't know why I can't speak. Football, why do we love it? What a generic title. Seriously, though, what is that title? Football, but why do you love it? So, we're going to do manager YouTube, because, as I said, I've got two separate ones. I know this is a bit of a long opening, but hey. A warm welcome to you all. As you know, Welcome last time we, we had won the Champions League twice with Liverpool, and that's ultimately when I ended it because I didn't want to continue with this style. But with this new FIFA and that, I'm going to do it no matter you like it or not. Even though tier lists are clearly the way to go at the moment. So, which pre season are we picking? I mean, that's got good money considering it's got worse teams, but. Sometimes you have to test yourself against the best, even if you can take the easy options. So we are going with the Asian Elite Club. You already know they have revamped the menus, so here's the stuff. We do have a Wonder Kid, I know that. That's not what I'm supposed to click on. So we have a 69 overall 16 year old Kai Higgins, a local lad from Liverpool. He looks insane. 77 to 94 potential. He is definitely going to be used, I'm not going to lie, whether you like it or not. But realistically, yeah, okay, he's a winger, isn't he? He's not anywhere else, is he? At least I don't think he can go anywhere else. So, we're obviously going to promote him. We're going to promote this Chinese. Actually, no, we can't just yet. And of course, we're going to promote Paul Martins, the Canadian. This is our squad for season one, and Van Dyke is casually standing there as he's currently the captain. I don't know if I'm going to change that because you know I find a reliable captain in the other career mode we have off of Mayo, although in real life you've barely used them. I know this sounds controversial, but I might have to sell Henderson because I want to have a unique squad because. Last FIFA D asked the fire, but I'm not too bad about Ilson, even though he's 29. But a 
30 year old Matty, 30 Van Dyke. Robertson's fine for a bit. Thiago's 31, how old's Fabinho? 28. Salah's 30. Okay, I don't even know why I'm checking Diaz, but you know, you get the points. So I'm going to show a lot more as you figured out by now. And of course, the transfer hub shows, you know, the targets it's given me, like at this stage in the car. What I'm doing is I'm making Trent a sentiment. I knew this sounds stupid, but considering all the stick he's getting out there, I thought we might as well see if he is a better sentiment from right back. Of course, I'm changing a few things around. I have transfer listed a few players. Usually I'd sell Cater first, but I'm already selling Thiago. El not Elias, but Jesus, I'm not selling Elias, definitely. He's one of the next big things. I'm selling Firmino, and I forgot who the other one was, but you know what I mean, I'm selling quite a lot anyway, otherwise I would have probably sold him. Also, we have a lot of players out on loads, including Reese Williams, who will be cool to get back once he's back. Connor Bradley, um, Morton was good last season when he did play. Of course, some of these I've never heard of. Jake's class, and don't know how long he's been at the club, but I know he's been there for a while. And we do have um, Arthur for season one, and... You never know if he's good enough, we might keep him, but I don't see him being a staying player. We have made our first signing of the career mode. It's technically small at this stage, but I think he can grow quite dramatically. It is a player from Southampton who impressed the world last season with how um, out of nowhere he came. He's only 75 overall, but I think he'll be a good addition at least and can hopefully grow into the position as he is 19. We have signed, of course, Liver Morton. As I said, it's a really good player and I'm happy to get him and he's a new one, I guess. For only 10.75 million as well. And they are giving us a B and almost, a re a, um, almost an A as well, which is even better. Our second sign of the career mode. I think you can already tell who it is by the back. We almost signed, well, I hope we sign in real life. It's Jude Bellingham. Here I come to meet the man. I'm field pitcher in the background. Right, he's just doing his medical. Obviously, he's going to pass it because I don't think you can't pass it in this game. And it's time for our announcements. I think you get a different one from Hidden and how the play is rated or, you know, how good they are. I feel like this is going to be a B or something. A C? Seriously? Oh, I don't get how that's only a C. He mean he is going to be one of the next big things. He also has a good player link with Henderson. Oh, it means he can get replace Henderson. Cater is officially leaving the club. I know I said I wouldn't sell him, but 32 million was a lot for a player. I'm not going to play. I'm not going to lie. It's quite sad seeing him go. For some reason, Pep Guardiola is in the office. I don't know why he's there. Hopefully he's not tapping anyone up. We say goodbye to Keita. And I mean, it's a bit emotional considering what he was one of the worst players at Liverpool, in my opinion, in recent times to be signed by Klopp. Well, he looked made up to see him go and see us at least. And let's see if it gives us any special animation to show us if we've done good. Oh, decent price. So I guess we sort of ripped them off. Oxley Chamberlain, who's he going to? Leon. Again, Chamberlain in real life wasn't the be most successful thing. He was good, but it's really injuries what threw him down. I don't get why there's such an emotional um, music. <laughs> it's not like he was an um, star player. I expect that to be, you know, salad left or something. The game thinks of it. Bad negotiation. Um, that's sad. Hey, we signed Malio Gusto for 10 million, asking price was 13 million, so it gave me an A on deal, on, so that's good. Thiago has joined Aston Villa, and actually never gave me a cutscene, so I guess just Thiago was made up to leave. Oh, now it's given the good bait to Thiago, although it doesn't want to show it, apparently. And uh, what's going on here? Please help, I'm scared. Is it this dramatic that it's trying to give me a seizure? Wait, what? Why is Firmino went to United? Another announcement time. You can tell again by the player. It is Ruben Diaz. We swap um, 
We spend 129 million and I think Matty gets chucked in there, but I'm not sure because they did count it off or so and never read it properly. So it's the same cutscene. So I thought there was alternate cutscenes, but I'm guessing there isn't unless it's because the other one by any chance uses coffee night music. If that's, that's the case, I don't think I see why it isn't. It's probably going to be horrific pricing because it's obvious, but let's see what it gives it. I oh, would we'll see. Good price rating. And you can see how badly this is damaging my finances once it shows. Yeah, good squad player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, um, it even shows weekly wages. Video again, but who cares? It is Gavi this time, not Frankie the Jungle, who for some reason looks like him in game. And clearly has no in-game player face, which is quite sad, because I was hoping maybe Gavi would have one this year. But at least it isn't as bad, because at least players like Pedri have in-game player faces now. But you know what I mean, it would still be nice to have given one, but hey-ho. Right, let's see his price rating to give us. Yeah, they chucked in Henderson there, so it wouldn't mess too badly with my finances. <laughs> okay, no, it's not good. It is our first match of the career mode. It is against Atletico Madrid. I've never seen that kit for them before, but let's get into the game. It's not actually showing a new um, animation for us here, but it is our first impression for the club, so hopefully it is a big one. Oh, good chance for Nunes. And it's caved into the top of the goal, and it's a brilliant shot. Nunes. And it's, of course, struck in by none other than Darwin Nunes. I think he'll be good this career move. With great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the ball rolling again. 2 0. He's in with a chance. Oh, it's a decent goal, given that. Still plenty of life in this match. Mosala. Nunes. And it's a quality pass. Opportunity. And it's smashed to him, and he gets a hat trick. A special moment. West Ham fans have been wondering would they get the man? Well, it has happened now. It has officially gone through, Stuart. Oh, it's brilliantly curved, and it looks like Nunes is on fire. Save fails. Oh gosh, banana foot. Oh, very effective play in possession. Can he get one back? Great block. Atletico have the corner. Why is the goalkeeper up the field? Really sound defending. <laughs> I've never seen the goalkeeper of the field. Anyway, that is full time. A 4 2 standard win. And Darwin Nunes gets a hat trick. Al Ilhal in the cup next. So it's the second game of free season. Jota, the slaughter. Salah. And it's a great goal for Salah. And it caves him to the top corner. Great goal. Good chance for Jota. And it's somehow caved in, and I think the keeper got a touch to it, but I think he could have done a lot better, but fair play to Jota. Saudi Arabia. Oh, it's a good goal, give him that. Trent. Diaz. Oh, he's chipped the keeper, and how has he managed to do that? Another magical goal from Luis Diaz. Nunes. And Nunes, the super stuff, has guaranteed us the win, although I don't think we're going to lose anyway. What a goal though, and that is full time, it's a 4-2 routine win. They did two good challenges though, but 
realistically, we would lose against Al Hilal. We have sent, um, although he's been doing good in real life, we've got his name now, Calvario Yeto Bilbao on, you know, Lewin. We can officially turn Trent into a centre mid, which puts him at a seven. I mean, an 89, which is quite good. We can't actually upgrade. Okay, we can upgrade the shooting a tiny bit, but you know what I mean. I expect we could upgrade the shooting a bit more at least. It is our next preseason game. We are playing against Barcelona. Hopefully, if we can do well. Why is Thomas Muller joint Barcelona? I just that. That's not good. Diaz is injured. I think um, this looks long term, you know. He's been down for a few minutes and there's been no medical attention. Yeah, it's, it's, it's to do with his head, I think. That could be deadly, you know. He could be in a situation here. Hopefully, if he is down for a while, we have someone to replace him with because I don't know who we're going to do with that with. And unfortunately, because of luck, we literally just don't know about um, Calvario. Bellingham. Oh, a Elliot ball. to Nunes. And, just has to remain calm. and, and it's a goal, a good setup by Elliot and a good goal for Nunes. Barcelona a bit, you would think. Harvey Elliot. And he dinks the keeper, and in the space of two minutes, we have got two goal leads. Um, and we win, so I think we go on to the preseason knockout stage of the year's one, but I'm not too sure. Well, Diaz is out the season. That's great. I'm going to probably have to ring car value back. So that's generally just the preseason on this game now. Diaz no other part of it. In a press conference before the final game of the episode, which is the Community Shield final. There's literally no celebration if you win pre-season now, which is quite sad, but does anyone really celebrate winning a pre-season trophy realistically? Anyway, I was wondering if they did, um, you know, change how pre-seasons work, but clearly they don't. That's I mean, they did, I'm meant to say, press coming. conferences and the ovens. Nunes. Opportunity it is. And Darwin Nunes gets the equaliser and we are back in it. Stunning save there. That is brilliant. Nunes gets past his man and it's awful marking. And it's a topping goal and he's got us in the lead and he's brought the game back. Stats don't lie. Liverpool haven't controlled the ball, but when they have had it. Oh wait a minute, they could be in here. And Nunes could have just won us the Community Shield and got a hat-trick. And he's flipped the game and we are back in our main position. For Premier League action coming your way. It's Liverpool facing Crystal Palace. Can he convert? And the ball is loose. Oh, he's got an equaliser. Oh, is this large? That's good. Won the Community Shield. I know it's not the biggest trophy in the world, but it's a way to start the season. And we get to watch the trophy lift. Unfortunately, I don't know. By this episode's end, we've lost Diaz, which was, again, a key player to the squad who I was hoping to use, but we're just going to have to wait until next season, virtually. Anyway, enough of the bad part. Let's get to the good part. And we are the champions, well, not the really the champions, but we just won the Community Shield and, and the players are there thinking the should we even celebrate. Because <laughs> none of them are actually celebrating, really. Van Dijk's just hesitating whether we should celebrate. Trent's just waving. <laughs> Unless this is the some sort of glitch, they literally do not care. But my goodness, they've taken the anyway, that's it this episode, guys. I hope I can see you next time. Anyway, let's just watch the celebration the that as the video ends. Yeah, they must have updated the trophy lift, and that's why they weren't as chaotic. Anyway, I'll see you next time. We end that, we need to decide who the player of the creator mo well, the player of the episode was. I've decided it's Darwin Nunes. It doesn't show his um, pre-season goals, but six goals in pre-season.
So yeah, that's good. So although it doesn't count to us total, still the only player to score a hat trick in the Community Shield final, it had to have been Darwin Nunes. Anyway, I'll see you next time.